I bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, my brothers and sisters. I am Pastor David Vandy of the Vandy Christian Network. And today I bring you word from the book of John chapter 12 verse 47 to 48. If anyone hears my word but does not keep them, I do not judge that person. For I did not come to judge the world, but to save the world. There is a judge for the one who rejects me and does not accept my words. The very words I have spoken will condemn them in the last day. Hallelujah. My brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ was the incarnate word of God. He was the fulfillment of God's written word. For this man was the word made flesh about whom the scripture spoke and towards whom the prophets pointed. Jesus himself said, It is the scriptures that testify about me and I have the words of eternal life. As the living word of God, my brothers and sisters, Jesus is the embodiment of the eternal God through whom all things were made. Moses foretold his coming and commanded the people of Israel to hear him and to listen to him because he would speak to Israel on behalf of God and he would converse with the Almighty God as man's representative. My brothers and sisters, these verses tell us that instead of expressing words to do the work of judgment and purification of the last days, Jesus Christ was incarnated into the world to redeem mankind from sin so that mankind could avoid being condemned and cursed by the law and enjoy God's grace and blessings. Although we have been redeemed by Jesus Christ and forgiving of our sins, our sinful nature and satanic corrupt disposition are still deeply rooted in us. We are still bound by sin, my brothers and sisters, so we frequently lie and deceive others and thus sin against the Lord. And we often reveal arrogance, conceit, selfishness, and despicableness, deceit and craftiness, and other corrupt dispositions. We live in a cycle of sin and confessing with no ways to extricate ourselves. As a result, we often cannot even obey God's word. My brothers and sisters, Jesus is the Logos, the Word made flesh, the Lamb of God and man's sinless kinsman redeemer. To reject the Lord Jesus Christ is to reject the very Word of the Father, for He is the image of the invincible God through whom the Father was speaking. Jesus was appointed as heir to all things, and it was through him that the world was created. He is the radiance of God's glory and the exact representation of his holy nature. By the power of his word, he upholds all things. And at the appointed time, he came to earth as the word of God made flesh to save his people from their sins and to set up the promised kingdom of God. But they refused to recognize him as their Messiah King, and through pride and ignorance, they rejected the Lord of glory. And that's why Jesus said, The one who rejects me and does not receive my sayings has one who judges him. The words I have spoken is what will judge him at the last day. For the words that Jesus spoke was the very word of the Almighty God. 
For he who believes is not condemned, my brothers and sisters. But the one who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed on the only begotten Son of the living God. For the Lord Jesus Christ was Almighty God, manifest in human flesh. The incarnate was standing in their midst, their very midst, and they did not know him. The Lord Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost in fulfillment of the Holy Scripture. He did not come to judge the world, but that the world through him might be saved. However, when the Lord Jesus returns to set up the kingdom of God on earth, he will return as a judge. He is the man whom God has appointed to judge the world with justice. For God has set a day when the man, Christ Jesus, will judge the world righteously. So my brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ will return to express all the truth that saved mankind in the last days and to do the work of judgment to purify our sinful nature and change our satanic disposition so that we will be cleansed and saved and become people who fear God, obey God, and love God. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you sent our Lord Jesus Christ to be the light of the world, to enlighten our hearts and enrich our souls. Thank you for opening our eyes and guiding us into the way of truth. May the light of your love continue to shine brightly in our hearts, O God. Guide us by your Spirit to walk and abide in the light of life, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, it is truly sad to realize how our pride can be translated into unbelief and the shocking consequences of rejecting Jesus as the Word of God manifests in the flesh. Forgive us for the times when we have not been willing to listen to your voice. I pray that we may become increasingly attentive to your word now, my God, my Father. Help us to keep looking to Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, and keep our ears open and attentive to his voice. In the precious and mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.